Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. As you very well know, if you follow this channel, I do enjoy going fishing, especially inshore fishing, since I don't own a boat. But if you have a boat and want to invite me to go fishing, feel free to contact me. So I'm checking out this uh, very nice casking uh, bait feeder number three. I found it to be affordable at under $60 uh, on the old uh, Amazon uh, website. So it's ambidextrous, it's black with red uh, highlights, accents. It's made out of stainless steel, aluminum, graphite, and carbon, and weighs at a hefty uh, one pound. It has a stainless steel handle and can handle braid and other materials. Of course, you can pause this video at any time to check out this specific model. Again, this is the Casking Sharky Bait Feeder Numero 3. 4,000 model. I bought the 4,000 model because I wanted to do some uh, uh, fishing while I go on my next trip uh, to Houston uh, on the coast and hopefully I catch some uh, nice, nice fish. I did find some uh, damage, significant damage on the box. Obviously this has uh, gone through the ringer and uh, I'll probably be sending this back and asking for a newer version. I want something a bit more pristine than what they sent me. Again, uh, it had some damage on the box. And I did notice quite a few fingerprints. Yes, I did notice quite a few fingerprints, especially on a casting reel, uh, you know, spin reel uh, that's uh, black. It just shows everything. It shows all the different imperfections and stuff. Of course, I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description in case you want to buy one of these. I'm going to send this back and then get a newer version because I'm not going fishing for another couple of weeks. Here's the extra spool. Thank you very much. Two spools are always, always, always better than one. And I've been fishing since the uh, early 60s on the coast of California and various lakes, rivers, and areas down there. And of course, in New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, and all over Texas, I've been fishing. And across the street from my house, I do have a very nice small pond that has significant bass. I'm not talking 10 pound bass, but they do have some five pound bass uh, across the street in the lake. I'm big on catch and release. I always toss them back because uh, I am not going to eat anything coming from that lake. <laughs> from the ocean, yes, but not from that little pond. So I'm opening the box and inside uh, they have the uh, reel and all the different accessories in a little bag. I uh, found very interesting, a very nice little bag. I like that bag. Uh, it's just made out of some sort of uh, unnatural material. And here's the uh, layout, all the information. So you, you need some new parts. The folks at Cast Kings and say, hey, we'll send you some new parts. We'll be more than happy to do that. My first uh, spin reel I found uh, on the beach in Santa Cruz. It was uh, lying there. It was full of barnacles and I cleaned it up. And that was back in the mid 60s when I was a junior high and I fixed it and ordered the parts and it worked for me for many, many years. I remember that model. It was an Abu Garcia. Here's some spare uh, washers. Let me open up uh, down here and see uh, what else I can find. And of course, uh, they have these stickers that have some information that you can put on your reel if you want or on your rod if you want. Uh, I'll pass on that one. In the background are some shells I collected when I was in Cancun on the beach and Isla Mujeres in those areas and uh, saved them. And here's a little sticker so you can put on your uh, <laughs> truck, on your bicycle, uh, whatever you want, you can put it right there. So here's the reel. Of course, it's black with the red accents. What do you think? Very nice. All the uh, equipment, all the uh, gears and the bale and uh, the the reel and everything worked flawlessly. I have no issues. I am a budget fisherman. I'm not spending... I went online and I was looking at uh, reels and I said, Oh yeah, that's a nice $200 spin reel. Oh yeah, that's a nice $250 spin reel. Oh, that's a very, very nice $800 spin reel. So I wanted to spend something uh, that's affordable. So this is under 60 bucks and it's going to go on an old ROM that I have in the back. Uh, you know, an ugly stick, a very nice ugly stick, a nine foot ugly stick. So this should be perfect to catch, uh, you know, redfish and whatever's out there, sea trout in the bay by Houston. So here's a top down view. 
and by pressing that button right there moving that switch everything becomes um, more available <laughs> it goes left and goes right <laughs> It was pretty solid. I mean, I, this was a very, very solid, you know, uh, you know, reel. I have no complaints about it. The only complaint is that it looks like it was a man handled before or a woman handled before. And I just want to send it back. And I'm going to ask him, hey, Amazon, send me something new, fresh, without any damage on the box. Because I always worry about stuff like that. When I buy camera equipment, I'm spending four or five thousand bucks on a camera. I go, hey. I want it fresh in the box. I don't want people's fingerprints all over it. I don't want any grease on the lens. And same goes for fishing equipment, even though this only cost under 60 bucks. So here again is the specifics and you can pause this video anytime. Of course, if you have the time and I greatly appreciate you checking out my video. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Muchos, muchos gracias. I'm very excited about going fishing in the bay over there by Houston. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the bell for future notifications. Muchas, muchas gracias a todos a ustedes. And if you have the time, and only if you have the time, check out my website, my photography website, uh, various trips that I've taken, and I have some photographs on there. Finally, uh, don't forget to enjoy yourself this uh, <laughs> upcoming spring and summer and fall, and of course, even winter. Happy camping! Happy fishing. I really, 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 really love fishing. I think everybody I know loves to go fishing. Uh, it's a hell of a fun sport, catching fish. If you do catch and release, or if you find something that you like that's edible, uh, I would appreciate it. Don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications. This has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.